welcome back everybody. This is of course Lightliger here, the one and only, and today we're going to be doing yet another tutorial video. We're going to be focusing on Zilliqa, which I still kind of believe is a bit of a dark horse in the race. I definitely could see it becoming basically the next Tron. And as you know, Zilliqa is enabling their staking features, which I believe is happening in three days. So that is on 15th. But a couple of days ago, they released a new platform called Zil Swap, which is basically an AMM protocol, just like Uniswap. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use it. And at this time, I'm going to be doing all the steps, so it will be very, very easy for you. So obviously, you need something to connect into the actual website. And so we need an extension. And I'm going to be using Zil Pay Wallet, which is a browser extension that is pretty neat looking. I have it on my other browser, but this time I'm going to be showing the whole process of actually creating your own extension and like the account and everything. So it's on available on Google, a Chrome web store. I'm going to be adding it to the Brave, add extension. And what I'm going to be doing is instead of like doing a seed phrase, I'm actually going to be basically importing my own private key from Atomic Wallet. You can do this from also from Exodus. So I'm going to be um, putting out the secret phrase here and I'm going to be blanking the screen right now. And now that I have imported the seed phrase from the Atomic Wallet, I can see my Zilliqa balance here on the actual extension. And now we can go back to the Sw Zill Swap website and click Connect Wallet. And we're going to be using Connect Zill Pay. Obviously, you can use a private key. I don't recommend it because it's a lot more bigger of a security risk. That's why these extensions exist to reduce security risks. Refreshing the page because it doesn't seem to be connecting and showing us that we don't actually have Zilpay installed. So I'm going to be connecting Zilpay and now it asks me to connect to the application. Oops. And okay, we're back again. And now I'm going to be clicking connect. And now we are actually inside the extension and now we are able to do swaps and all the cool stuff. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be choosing Zilliqa because I don't own any of the actual other tokens that exist in the ecosystem. And I'm relatively not familiar with a lot of the actual tokens that exist on the ecosystem. But I heard some good stuff about Bolt. So that's what we're going to be buying for the first off. So I'm going to be um, acquiring... Bolt with Zill, so you're going to be choosing the Bolt pairing here. And then we're going to be putting the amount that we're going to be using of my Zillica balance, which is right now 1,300. And I'm going to be putting like 300 into it. And this is the equivalent amount we would be getting in Bolt. And you can also like put out the receiving address here in case you want to move the money directly into a third wallet that you might be using. Um, I believe there's going to be a bit higher gas fee if you're going to be doing that, but this is Zilliqa, so it doesn't really matter. And here on below, you see the slippage. And this means that there is a chance that the slippage may give you 0.02% lower amount or higher amount that is stated on here. So usually when the slippage is lower, the better it is. And the slippage will get lower as more volume is provided into the actual pool. So now we're going to be doing the actual swap and we're going to be seeing the actual transaction cost here. I'm going to be choosing average. You can obviously use the advanced tab here and I guess put your gas limit on your own. If you're an expert on this matter, I think you definitely should do that. But we're going to be using the 30 sill uh, transaction cost in this case to get the bulk tokens. This shouldn't take a lot of time actually to confirm still. We can view the details on the actual um, going on here. Here's the actual ID. I did a wrong one, so let's refresh this one. It hasn't still found out the transaction, apparently. And now the transaction has gone through, took like two minutes or so, and the cost was 1.4 zil. So not too much compared to Ethereum, at least. And now we actually have some of the bold tokens right now in case we want to like trade it back into Zilliqa in case we wanted to. But that's what we're not going to be doing. We're going to be pulling in the actual liquidity into the, the pool. And so whenever there is going to be trades done within Bolt and Zilliqa, that will mean that I will be accruing some of the fees 
which is 0 0.3 per transaction. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be choosing both from here and I'm going to be putting all of it and this will put the equivalent amount on a Zilliqa because you always have to provide 50-50. So basically the same amount of both as in same amount of Zill. So now we're going to be unlocking this. We are going to be using the fasting because I don't want to wait uh, for the transactions to take million minutes. And after it has been unlocked, then we can actually provide the liquidity into the pool. And whenever we want to, we can actually remove uh, the liquidity from the pool. And this will also tell us the actual percentage, how much of Zill um, we're going to be owning. So right now in the current pool, there's already over 1 million of Zill and 290,000 Bolt. So uh, it is already quite populated of a pool. Um, the kind of the technique or the strategy usually is to provide into the pools which are kind of like up and coming because you will be getting the LP tokens which is the liquidity pool token, LPT sometimes called or LP. And basically this represents your share of the pool and even though, you know, people will add like millions after that LP token worth is pretty much going to be the same. So it actually has more value down the road and the share basically is not the same if somebody puts out the same exact amount of Zill and Bolt into the future into the pool, if that makes sense. I know this is kind of confusing. So let's... Um, and now that I actually got it confirmed, I noticed that you have to put up a minimum contribution of 1000 Zills into the actual pool in order to contribute. So I would have had basically, you know, get the three times the amount we just bought and the amount of Bolt. I mean, then again, it's not really that much when you think consider it for the long run, but I'm not going to be doing it because I'm going to be staking my Zill. So I'm not going to be acquiring more Bolt as of right now. And in case we want to sell Bolt, for example, you can do that pretty easily. You can also transfer it into like Zill Pay Wallet, for example. So if I want to sell 50% of that, I can now do the swap and actually pay this as well. And that's how easy the basically the use the platform is. It's probably going to be taking you around one to two minutes to get the transactions confirmed, depending on what is you're going to be your gas cost. If you're going to be putting a lot of gas, they're going to be confirming a lot more faster. And there's right now also a night mode option on the website. Apparently, there's no uh, language stuff yet. I mean, pay in mind this actually just released. So couple of days ago so there's no all the features inside yet there's also a testnet version which is very nice because that's not something you see a lot of with a lot of other AMMs on this space but that's pretty much my tutorial on how to swap how to provide liquidity and how to use the extension with Zill swap obviously this video was done 100% free so I would appreciate if the Zillica community would at least chip in and pay for the gas fees uh, I mean, some tips obviously are appreciated. If you are a dApp creator in Zilliqa and you maybe want to work with me, maybe I could do a tutorial for your dApp or showcase or review. You can always uh, contact me at lightliger at protomail.com. And I obviously will be doing another video on the Zilliqa staking, how it's done, um, when that actually is going to be launching on multiple tokens, uh, multiple wallets, sorry, on the future. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.